open up the feeder, open up the drive rolls, remove the wire. You may need to cut the wire for that too. Undo whatever is retaining the power pin into the feeder. Two and a half millimeter Allen key to remove these two flathead screws. Keeps batter out of the socket head cap screws that are on the front of this assembly here. Remove consumables. Four mil Allen key. Undo these bolts. There's four of them. Here you can pull some slack out of the robot to expose this pinch bolt. Five mil Allen key in the pinch bolt, and a half a turn is plenty to remove the front end. So the pinch bolt. Holds the stud in place. There's an O-ring that's still for gas on the inside. Move your liner. Now the cable can be pushed back through J6, and you pull the whole thing out of the testing. Start by putting the power pin in down the casting of the robot. Some are easier than others. Take some slack here and push it through J6. Four or five inches sticking out of the spacer so that you can grab your front end. You can hear it click in when it bottoms out. And you can see in here that there's no gap between the RPC and the brass flange itself. When it's fully seated, tighten this pinch bolt. And then orient the dowel. Put the dowel hole on the spacer. And then you just hold them together. While you start the first bolt, do them all finger tight like this. Turn your Allen key and a quarter turn to snug them all up after you've made them finger tight. Head screws back in and hold it in place. Then you're going to take your liner, new liner preferably. This one's already been trimmed the length. And insert it into the neck. Your liner in and it's trimmed to a half inch stick out when the liner is being compressed. Take your consumables, thread them back on the end of the neck, use a 5 8 wrench to torque the retaining head on, keep the wrench on the head, use a pair of welters to tighten the tip in the retaining head and your nozzle can go back up. See the power pin is usually, if it gets to casting like this, you're not usually lucky enough to get to go in the casting, so all you gotta do is make it so it's not binding. You're gonna grab the cable here through the opening in J5, and if you just pull on it, the pin 
snaps into place and you're going to orient this clip or whatever if you have a different type of feeder the way you fasten it may be different but it's nice and tight grab the wire again get back into the, into the power pin do up our quick connect close your dry rolls lock it into place.